This story revolves around a woman from South Korea who, as an adopted child, yearned to uncover her biological roots. Her quest for family connections was driven by a deep longing to find her birth mother or any siblings she might have had amidst the vast unknowns of the world. It may seem peculiar to some why adopted children seek out their biological families, given they were placed for adoption for reasons often rooted in difficult circumstances. Yet, it's crucial for them to tread carefully in this pursuit, mindful not to inadvertently hurt the emotions of the loving families who raised them. O'Brien's early memories are faint. Her mother passed away shortly after her birth, leaving her to navigate life from infancy without her. Raised by her father, who eventually remarried, she hoped for the warmth of a motherly figure but found herself in a situation where her stepmother was distant, akin to the archetype of neglectful figures in fairy tales. As she grew older, O'Brien found solace and affection in her father's love, which provided her with a sense of security she had never known with her stepmother. However, tragedy struck when she was still very young. Her father, struggling with alcoholism, met an untimely end. Bereft of family support, her stepmother made the difficult decision to place her for adoption, marking the beginning of a uniquely challenging childhood. O'Brien's journey took a turn when a couple from Alexandria, Virginia, moved by her solemn demeanor and unspoken pain, chose to adopt her and offer her a new beginning. Renamed Holly O'Brien in her new American life, she finally experienced the nurturing care and affection she had always craved. Though it took effort and patience, her adoptive parents succeeded in nurturing love in her heart. Yet, amidst this newfound love and stability, there remained one aspect of her life that could not be changed. The American couple provided O'Brien with a normal childhood, allowing her to develop an interest in the medical field as she grew older. She pursued her dreams diligently, studying hard for her medical exams. However, the wounds of her past remained unchanged. Years later, O'Brien found herself working as a nurse at the doctor's hospital of Sarasota, dedicatedly caring for patients with patience and composure. Little did she know that her childhood past would resurface unexpectedly at this very hospital. The hospital needed additional staff, and among the applicants was Megan Hughes, whose impressive resume caught the attention of Matt Nelms, the head of nursing. Megan was assigned to O'Brien for training, sharing the same shift timings on the same floor. Over the next five months, a strong bond formed between them as they worked together diligently. During their shifts, O'Brien and Megan found themselves chatting endlessly about anything and everything. One day during one of these conversations, O'Brien noticed Megan's facial features resembling those typical of people from Korea. Curious, O'Brien asked Megan if she also hailed from Korea. Megan revealed that she was indeed from South Korea. Her father was Korean, but she grew up in an orphanage and was later adopted by a family from New York. O'Brien was stunned to discover that Megan had also spent part of her early life in an orphanage just like her. Intrigued, O'Brien wanted to know which orphanage Megan had lived in. To their astonishment, it turned out that Megan had lived in the same orphanage where O'Brien had spent her early years. Megan was 44 years old and O'Brien was 46. As they shared more about their lives, they uncovered incredible similarities and experiences from their time in South Korea. Megan mentioned that her Korean name had been changed after adoption. Curiously, O'Brien shared that her last name had also been Shin before adoption. These revelations sparked a profound curiosity in O'Brien. Could there be more to their connection than mere coincidence? Driven by their growing friendship and a sense that their bond might be deeper than they initially thought, O'Brien and Megan decided to undergo a DNA test. They couldn't resist the urge to explore whether there was a familial connection between them. On August 17, O'Brien eagerly collected the DNA test results from the hospital. As she held the reports in her hands, her heart sank and tears welled up in her eyes. But the reason behind her emotional reaction remained a mystery. The results were staggering. O'Brien and Megan's DNA showed a 50% match. This revelation was overwhelming for O'Brien, who had no recollection of having a younger sibling. 
The news came as a delightful shock, and she eagerly awaited Megan's response. Megan was at work when she received O'Brien's text about the unexpected DNA results. She struggled to maintain her composure as she processed the astonishing news. Reflecting on that moment, Megan recalled, I was working with a patient when I got the text. I had to keep my emotions in check, it felt unreal. As soon as Megan finished with her patient, she hurried to meet O'Brien. Standing before her sister, Megan was speechless for a moment, then moved closer and embraced her tightly. It was a deeply emotional and precious moment for both women. Being two years younger than O'Brien, Megan and O'Brien realized they shared the same father after nearly 45 years of their lives. For both, who had long yearned to uncover their biological roots, this realization was especially poignant, made all the more extraordinary by their unexpected connection as co-workers. Later, the sisters laughed together about how destiny had brought them together at their workplace, revealing their shared past. They marveled at the unlikely turn of events that had transformed a colleague into a beloved sister. Yet, O'Brien had a more profound reflection. At 46 years old, O'Brien confessed she had always felt a missing piece in her heart. Seeing other siblings together had often stirred a longing for her own. Having a sister was like the icing on the cake, making her life feel whole. Megan, on her part, expressed gratitude to Holly O'Brien for not giving up on their shared past. The closure I felt, Megan mused, it's something I've always wanted, to know if I had any siblings, to understand my background. It was a beautiful sentiment of finding completeness. The sisters decided to revisit South Korea, their birthplace, in search of further clues about their past at the orphanage where they had both once lived. What they discovered surpassed their expectations. At the orphanage, they unearthed old records and visa documents bearing their birth dates and the details of their adoption to the USA. The records also confirmed their shared last name, Shin. Additionally, they learned that Megan had been left at the orphanage by O'Brien's stepmother, who struggled with the financial burden of raising a child. Today, the co-workers turned sisters enjoy a strong bond. They cherish each other's company and have integrated their families, often spending weekends together. Despite the late discovery, their meeting has brought immense joy and fulfillment. Here's to wishing them a future filled with happiness and togetherness.